everybody. Welcome to the Political Vigilante. I'm here in the Jimmy Dore Show studio, the world headquarters of the Kremlin puppet Jimmy Dore. And I'm here with Arno, his producer. Uh, so Arno, tell everybody kind of what your basic job is here. My job is to film and then edit the content that we put out on the Jimmy Dore Show. So roughly, how many like clips do you sort of edit and how long what's the process like walk us through like you know we shoot for two three hours and then how long it sort of takes you to take a video from shooting to putting it on the air so we usually shoot for about four hours mm -hmm. up to four hours and then we edit approximately another four or five hours afterwards and then we uh, usually drop the videos same day so oh, okay it's, it's always you keep it going you know same day we don't like to uh, have anything build up you know over time and so that's, oh I see because you yeah. like to keep it sort of yeah, because it's the the workload like you know gets intense after you know right. if, if clips are out in the you know. So like the clips were today were uh, I'm sure we're going to be talking about um, how great Nancy Pelosi is and we need yeah. more war in Syria. Yeah, we'll exactly. put those clips up as I, quickly as possible. I mean, yeah, it, it's uploaded mm -hmm. to the channel and then Jimmy goes over him. He drops them whenever he seems he he decides it's you know it's ready for. And what, what's, I mean, so especially recently, there's been a lot of pretty cool people that have come in here. What have sort of the highlights for you of some of the guests that have been on the show? Uh, you know, Kalsi Gabbard show, came in, uh, Chris Hayes. I mean, it was, there's a bunch of people just coming in every week. I'm just like, oh, some, someone else is coming in, you know? Like Jill so, Stein was Jill in Jill Stein, yeah. It's, it, the list keep, keeps going. I'm, I'm losing count of, like, who I'm eating, but <laughs> it's, it's, it's cool. It's really cool, like, how it, it's all happening and. And how has working on this show sort of changed your opinion on things? Oh, well, before I even worked here, I didn't I was not involved in politics at all. <laughs> so you had no idea what I, you were getting involved? Yeah, I mean... You just thought YouTube channel. No, I, mean, no, I, I, knew, I knew what I was getting myself, right. you know, but I was like, oh, I'll just edit it and, you know, you know. And then I was going through all these clips and videos with, you know, Joe Biden. I'm like, who's Joe Biden? And, you know, I had to go through... Uh, learning all these names because, you know, as you know, when you're making the content, you know, and you're naming the videos, mm -hmm. all that, it gets intense. Like, I mean, you're just learning it as you're uh, around right. all these people mm -hmm. talking about it. And now I'm just I'm like you, you know, we're progressives here, so <laughs> can't go back. Yeah, can't go back. <laughs> Makes sense. Since you've been working on the show and becoming more informed and becoming a progressive, any any relationships, friends or family, been strained as a result? Yeah, I mean, a lot of my friends and, you know, family, it, it's, you know, we have our disagreements, but, you know, we get through them and, you know, we're still family and with my friends, uh, you know, they're friends, so they're not as close to me, you know, so. <laughs> but with family, you know, we stay together, you know, that's what it is. Okay. Yeah. All right, cool. Well, uh, thanks for your time, Arno, and of course, the Progressive Comedy Tour, we're coming to Florida in January, so go to grandmelwood.com and thank you for watching. Peace. Peace.